I'm muting everybody. You should be able to unmute yourself when it's required. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. I welcome you all to the Toastmaster for Hyderabad Entrepreneurs, the meeting number 37. I'm your Sergeant Itans for today's meeting, and my name is Raghunath Raju. I would like to begin by stating the mission of our club. The mission of our club is provide a supportive, positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. The value of Toastmaster program are respect, integrity, service, and excellence. Let's exhibit our commitment to these values by being attentive in the program and also try to keep your videos on. Thank you. Before I open the meeting, let me reiterate few rules for the cleaning of the household activities. First, please turn off all noise making devices or put them in silence mode. I will give you about five seconds to do that. Next, speakers are required to refrain from making any references to politics, sex or religion in a derogatory manner because you may end up offending someone in the room. Three, the audience is required to refrain from crosstalk or using chat when a speaker is talking so that we don't disturb them or interrupt them. Please mute yourself if you are, if you are not speaking. With that note, let me invite the lady of the club or the presiding officer of the meeting, Toastmaster Kalpana. Thank you for that energetic opening, uh, Zoom Master, Sergeant Jatam, Distinguished Toastmaster Raghu. Good evening, one and all. And I know it's festival season and still we are uh, catching up for a Toastmaster meeting. I wish you all had a wonderful weekend and have very, uh, very happy celebration at uh, Raksha Bandhan. Today, we have this wonderful person who is author of Delighted Customer Is book. And I was also surprised to know that his Kaleopadic career led him to freelance writing into newspapers and getting the copyrights of the theories and the service excellence started uh, with his website, delightedcustomer.com. And he is, he had a career of 29 years working in UAE and Australia. Let us welcome Toastmaster of the Day, Gangadhar Krishnan, Krishna for today's meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, presiding officer, Madam Postmaster Kalpana, am I audible and visual? Yes, you are audible and visual. Thank you. And I wish to give a warm welcome to each and everybody here. And I think we have a guest who is joining us from Canada. Am I right? Yes. Thank you. And welcome Toastmaster Viana. And wish you a good morning. Okay, uh, to start, Toastmaster Raghu, do we have all the role players? <laughs> yeah, we do have. Okay, wonderful. <laughs> You're most welcome. The theme today that we have is service, customer service, and social service. Now, the reason why I chose this topic is pretty obvious. It's the closest to my heart. And when I did an article for Money Control, one of the uh, pioneers who are handling the entrepreneur clubs in India, you've got about six to seven of them in Pune and Hyderabad and various other places. He said, why don't you be a Toastmaster? And I mean, why don't you, in your Toastmastering, be a Toastmaster of the day and cover the subject? I said, I'll be more than happy to do it. So that's how I thought, let's uh, talk on service. Now, can you, can everybody see my screen or I need to start sharing, right? Yeah, you need to start sharing. Great, wonderful. 
Okay, now can everybody see it? Great. So how many of you would agree with me that no human being on this earth ever will escape from service or getting satisfaction? Would you agree with me? Can I see a show of hands? Can I see a raised hand? Some kind of a response from the audience? Thank you, Madam First Master Rekha. I personally feel that from the time you are born till the time you leave the face of this earth, you are intentionally or unintentionally always serving somebody or the other. Let's take the example of a child that's born. No sooner the child is born, one of the first thing it does is starts crying and it cries for milk or to be fed. And the mother feeds the baby. The baby has a smile on its face and it goes off back to sleep happily. As you grow up, you have parents, elders helping the child in various other activities, right from the time when they go to rolling over, crawling, walking, falling, standing, walking, running, and all the aspects. You always go and help. As a child grows up, it is helping the parents, it's helping the grandparents cross the street, carry luggage, or the neighbors. And this exercise goes on and on. Service is what you give, and what you get in return is a thank you, a pleasant smile, and just a state of happiness when the person you have served has acknowledged it to you. So right through your life, you're always doing service. You have no choice on that, as simple as that. It is mandatory. Till the time you leave the face of this earth, also there's somebody who takes care of you as you depart. That also is part of service. If you go to see. So that's why I feel that service is something which is integral part of the human being. We cannot shake ourselves away from service. So with that in mind, I thought, let me take this in three parts as service, customer service, and social service. Now, as TMOD, if possible, I am going to encourage an interaction, quick, I mean, not discussion, or you can also send me a chat message one-to-one, uh, one -one, and maybe I can even uh, answer any of your queries there. So moving on from here, where do I see my agenda? Yes. I wish to introduce a Toastmaster, or before I go to do that, we, the format we have in today's meeting would be we have the uh, We have the prepared speeches in one part of it. The second part, we cover table topics. And the third is our evaluations. Now, helping me in today's uh, program and in ensuring it's a very smooth uh, flow, I have with me a Toastmaster. She is uh, from Chennai Toastmasters Club with seven plus years with breaks in the Toastmastering. She runs a startup called Kalpataru Consulting. She's into project management and PMP and Agile certification coaching. She is the one who will take care of the latter half of this meeting when you're looking at the evaluations and the other people who are gonna be uh, helping in the various roles in handling this uh, latter of the meeting and take it ahead. So I request each and everyone here to unmute yourself and give a thundering applause to Madam Postmaster Rekha Subramanian. Thank you very much, DTM Gangadhar Krishna. <clears throat>
So as introduced by DTM Gangadhar Krishna, I'm playing the role of the general evaluator. And I'm here to evaluate this, uh, the entire proceedings of the meeting and to appreciate what went well and how it can be improved. To help me, I have two sets of team. One is the speech evaluators who will come later part of the meeting. And the other set of team is the tag team, timer, our counter, and the grammarian. So let me call each one of them and uh, let them give the like uh, to share their roles and responsibilities. So first, the tag player, timer. Uh, today's timer is Toastmaster Anil Kumar. He is a software development engineer from Amazon Hyderabad. I welcome Toastmaster Anil Kumar to share your roles and responsibilities as a timer. Yeah, thank you, Toastmaster Rekha. So, uh, a fellow Toastmaster and dear guest. So, as a timer, my role is to remind all the speakers and evaluators how much time they have spent on their speeches on e and evaluations so that this will help ensure to run the meeting on time. So to do that, I'll be using three cards, red, uh, green, and yellow, as you can see on my background. So uh, I will be using green card to show, uh, to show the speaker hitting the qualifying time, and then yellow card to show the speaker hits the target time, and then the date card when the speaker has reached his uh, end of their allotted time. So for example for five to seven minutes of speech so i will raise the green card at fifth minute yellow card at sixth min minute and the red card on seventh minute and also i will be use i will be uh, timing the table topic speeches as well so for table topic speeches uh, the allotted time is two minutes so in that case i will be displaying a green card at one minute yellow at 130 and red at 230 Two, two minutes and the and also like the 30 second is given as the grace period for all the speakers yeah thank you over to you uh, toastmaster rekha thank you very much toastmaster amit kumar so next comes our to our, our counter toastmaster mohammed junaid he is an entrepreneur his professional by professional like he is an entrepreneur and he is involved in uh, manufacturing and exports of machine parts and components of engineering engineering industries i'm very sorry uh, and he has a profound interest on crypto market and defi projects uh, and uh, in relation to the theme today's theme about the, uh, about serving uh, his uh, thoughts on today's theme is like everyone ser serves others to be on the personal as well as professional side and every service is relevant to both society and the country. So with this thought, let me invite Toastmaster Muhammad Junaid. Yes, Toastmaster Muhammad Junaid. Thank you, General Waiter. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. My name is Muhammad Junaid, and I am our counter for the day. As our counter, I will note the sounds and the words that are used as crunch or filters by the speakers. During the meetings, I will listen to the crunch words such as and, will, but, so, and, you know. I will also listen to filter sounds such as a, uh, mm, er. I will note when a speaker repeats a phrase such as I, or this means, that means, or short pauses and long pauses. I will give my report when called upon general evaluator. Thank you and over to you, general evaluator. Thank you very much to us, Master Muhammad Junaid. And uh, the final tag player, Grammarian. So I would like to introduce to us, Master Hajar, today's Grammarian. She is into service, which involves respect of human rights and human values. In line with today's theme, her thoughts are service to customers or to the society brings happiness to both sides, both the receiver and the giver. So now I invite Toastmaster Hajar to share the roles and responsibilities of a grammarian. Uh, thank you, dear general e evaluator. I'm Hajar and I am uh, the grammarian of today's meeting. Uh, uh, 
the my role is important since uh, it's an uh, it's an um, it's a chance for me to practice my my uh, listening skills and for you to to uh, to to uh, to refresh uh, of your grammar and my main the uh, the 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 duties for today's meeting is to to introduce uh, the word and the idiom of the day and to give a report of the incorrect for grammar. So uh, for the word of the day, it's a verb, it's embrace, and it has two meanings. The first meaning is to hold someone closely in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in one's arms, uh, especially as a sign of affection. And the second meaning is to accept a theory or change. And the, the, the idiom of the day is over the moon. And it means to be very pleased about something. And at the end of the meeting, I will give you my report. And thank you, General Evaluator. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hajar. I would request uh, the grammarian Toastmaster uh, Hajar to mention the theme of the day and word, the word of the day or in the chat so that like everyone can have a reference to it in their speech. So with this, I will come back with the report. Now I hand over the control to DTM Gangadhar Krishna. Thank you very much, Madam Toastmaster Rekha. I was really excited when the tag team was being introduced. I was just going through the chats and uh, I saw our guest, Deanne, she's sharing her thoughts on service. She says, service is the food to people, uh, serving food to people, people's table at the restaurant. Now, when I meant you can never escape from service and satisfaction and to drive my point further, Right now, we have seen service and satisfaction this very moment in the last 10 to 15 minutes. In the sense, we have been trying to communicate with each other for the last, let's say, 24 hours. And I've been requesting everyone for the introduction and what do they think about the theme. And we received a reply from all. So where does the service satisfaction come in? When you're requesting something to somebody and they respond, that becomes, otherwise I would be in a situation where I just have to very flatly introduce the Toastmaster or the role player who's taking it up. But when you have an introduction, it gets a little bit, a little bit better. So you have a request, somebody responds to your request, you're satisfied. As we started this meeting, I asked Toastmaster Ravu, do we have all role players here? And he said, yes. It's such a sigh of relief for Toastmaster Raghu that we have everybody here. Do we see service and satisfaction there? Just the fact that we're communicating with one another and getting a feedback is a service in return. And there is a, a sigh of relief, that's a satisfaction. So it's very important using the word of the day that we should embrace, embrace service, understand where we are doing it, how we are doing it, or how we are receiving it. And as we keep doing that, you inadvertently do service, but then when you do it intentionally, maybe your attitude to serve would change. You do it in a much more pleasant manner, or you'd add some uh, <clears throat> icing on the cake of service. So as we proceed, we will be speaking more about service, customer service and social service. And I personally am over the moon, the fact that everybody is here attending the session, all those who have promised to attend. That's the first part of commitment. Moving on from here, we move to a section called prepared speeches. For which, before we move to introducing the speaker, I would request the evaluator of the speech to read out the objectives, please. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Gangadhar. My speaker 
postmaster dhananjaya is doing his level 3 project 3 of path persuasive influence his project title is connect with the storing storytelling and the main purpose of this project is for the member to practice using story within a speech or give a speech that is a story so all the best postmaster dhananjaya and over to you postmaster gangadhar krishna thank you very much <clears throat> evaluator number 1 i would now love to get dhananjay on screen but before doing that it would be but right to share a few words about dhananjay he is an aeronautical engineer by profession and currently works as a manager at an aeronautical company for the last 15 years his passion includes preparing children for future children by giving them realistic education instead of forcing them to be stuck with informative education lovely thought i have into he has interest in studying education systems in different regions to work on better education methods for our next generation his thoughts on service is understanding the needs of others and fulfilling through different ways and he feels customer service is about fulfilling the promise given to customers <clears throat> and social service is satisfying our spirit by giving something good and useful to others without expecting anything in return dhananjay you would be reso- i resonate with your thoughts and we should connect more on this on a one to one later since we are on the prepared speeches please put your hands together and welcome those master dhananjay for his project speech Uh, so, am i audible and visible yeah yes you are Thank yeah you. Uh, amit you had a question uh, yeah how long is the speech duration uh, it's 5 to 7 minutes 5 good evening okay and uh, 6 will be amber and 7 will be red dhananjay uh, amit can you move your cards and let let's ask if dhananjay is able to see your cards amit you need to keep your video on and show the cards and just show. yes okay. i'm able to see Okay, great. So, fine then. Then Anjay, you're good to start. Stories are communal currency of humanity. Tahir Shah in Arabian Nights. Human beings think in metaphors and learn through stories. Mary Catherine Batson. We all like like to listen and learn from stories. Let me share you. a story which tells us how intelligence can solve great problems without using force good evening tosh master of the day fellow tosh master and dear guest tenali ramakrishna <clears throat> is a was a poet scholar thinker and a special advisor in the in the court of king sri krishna devaraya his stories are famous who teaches morals and introduces a sense of intelligence one day tenali ramkrishna was returning to his home after completing his duty in the court of his king on his way to his home he heard some people discussing about a series of robberies happening in the houses of rich people in their area as he approached his house he saw few few people looking suspiciously he thought these people are the thieves who were trying to rob his house that night he reached his house almost late in the evening as he could not use any force to catch the thieves he decided to use his intelligence to avoid any uncomfortable situation he thought for a while and called his wife loudly he he asked his wife he told to his wife sharda listen today i came to know that some thieves have entered into our city but don't worry i had a great plan to to protect our wealth from them we will pack all our gold jewels in a trunk box 
and leave the trunk box into the well even when thieves come to our house they could not find anything and nobody expect that some we have hidden all our wealth in a well they went inside the house and he quietly told his wife about the situation they packed all their gold and jewels into a they sorry they packed some stones into the trunk box and dragged that heavy trunk box towards the well in their garden while the thieves were observing them they dropped that heavy trunk box into the well the thieves thought that day the rob was much easier because they already knew the exact location of the wealth without say, say, wasting their time for searching after late in the midnight the thieves came to the well and as the well is full of water they considered to empty the well to take out the box they started pulling out water all the night and they tried to empty the well tenali had already made arrangements to divert that water to the plants in their garden it was almost in the morning they could empty the well and take out the box from the well they opened the well and they were shocked to see that the trunk box was filled with stones they realized the plan of tenali ramkrishna it was almost in the morning by the time they realized his plan tenali approached the his uh, uh, approached the thieves with his neighbors and thanked them for watering his plants all the night this is how a intelligence can solve great problems without using any force like the thieves in our story we find people in our society who want to use our resources for their own benefit they just want to exploit others in such situations we have to if we have if we don't have any enough strength to face such people we need to find ways to protect ourselves and then if possible we can also find ways to use their strength to our benefit this story has helped me to solve one problem in our in my professional life let me share you that story also few years back there were two employees in our organization who were reluctant to work whenever we allot some work for them they simply come up with excuses and complaints we have created a rumor that management was considering to send few people to a foreign country for training who has the good knowledge in the current project from that day those two employees started working very hard they learned everything about the project but the foreign trip was never realized they couldn't ask us because we never promised them about the foreign trip this is how we made them to work friends our intelligence always shows us ways to solve our problems smartly sometimes a sense of intelligence could solve a great problem without using a massive force thank you and over to pm modi thank you very much uh, toastmaster dhananjay yes i think motivation comes in various forms whether it comes as a whip or it comes as a carrot or it comes as something to entice you with so probably we heard that in today's story moving on from here for the second prepared speech i would request the evaluator of the speech to please share the objectives of the speech thank you mr sureesh i'm taking the second project in number 3 on the dynamic leadership one the purpose of this speech is to 
practice using a story within a speech or giving a story that is a speech. Back to you, Asma Sabeza. Thank you very much, evaluator. We are now moving to the second project speech where the speaker is a telecom engineer by profession and a real estate business owner. According to him, service is a lifeline for human beings. Something which you just mentioned a little earlier as service is something that you do all through your life. So he feels service is a lifeline for human beings and we can't survive alone in this world without the services of others. So very true. With that, put your hands together and welcome Toastmaster Suresh Kotipali. Socrates once said, okay, sorry, am I, am I visible, are you visible and visible? Thank you, thank you, Ganada. Socrates once said, a person who is contented, a person who is not contented with what he has, would not be contented with what we would like to have in the future. Good evening. Hello, Toastmasters and guests. Do you ever continue with your life? Let me know, all of you, from all of you, can you raise your hands? Are you continue with your wife or not? Can you show your hands? Thank you, Tiamori. This contentment, I have a little story to share you. Once upon a time, there were three brothers, Samuel, Anthony, and Timothy, who used to live in a village near to the forest. They used to cut the woods from the forest and they sell into the market with handsome money. But they were not happy with that lifestyle. One day, they are returning home from the forest along with a bundle of logs. They saw an old woman. That old woman is carrying heavy luggage on her shoulders. As these three brothers were compassionate and kind enough, they approached her and they took the, her luggage and they helped her on the way to the home. That old woman is not an ordinary person. She has got miraculous powers. As she saw a kindness in three brothers, she wanted to help her, help all of them with some gift. And she asked immediately the three of them, that is Samuel, Anthony and Timothy, what would you like? What would you like to have in your life so that you can be happy? They replied, we are not happy because we are not having enough misers to take care of our life. So we want something in life so that we can be happy. But she gave an a option for them. If, yeah, if what you want in life, I can give you. At starting, they did not believe. But for the sake, they uh, came forward and first she asked to the Samuel and Samuel, what do you want? If I have a big mansion with full of servants, I would be happy. And the second one that Anthony has replied, if I have four lands with harvest, full of harvest, I would be happy. The third person is very interesting one. He asked that if I have a, a cute, uh, beautiful wife, I would be happy. Then she told it will be, your wish will be fulfilled. If you go home, you will find all what you want. Then three of them returned to home. And as and when they returned home, the first person, the Samuel, uh, having a huge mansion uh, in the place of his house, 
with full of service. He felt very happy. And for Anthony, also the same thing happened. He had got a farm lands with full of harvest. For Timothy, she, she beautiful wife invited him to the home. All of were very happy. And a year passed by, all are enjoying other gifts. And ultimately what happened, they started boring with that amenities which she provided. And one day they, did, they all decided, okay, we are not giving any happiness. They want to go again to the two old men. They want some other favor. Then they all went to the woman's home and asked her again. We again bored with what you have given for me, for us. So please give another gift for us. Then she replied, I have given enough for you. You won't, you won't realize, you, you are not realizing what I have given to you. If you contended with what I have given to you, you would be more happier. I also given everything for you, but you have not realized our gifts. So try to be content with what you have. Then your life will be one of the moon. Embrace the uh, things which you have in your life. All uh, fellow Toastmasters, do you be really uh, count our blessings in day to day life? Seriously, seriously speaking, we don't. For this, I'm having one real time exam example. But when I was traveling from my native place to the Hyderabad by train, I was sitting in the compartment. A coffee man came. Coffee, coffee. By shouting coffee, coffee. Then I ordered a coffee. I took it. The, the same is ordered by the other person next to me. I had my coffee within two minutes. But when the person is next to me, he was trying very hard to have a single sip. His hands were shivering. His head was moving. He could not have a single sip. Then I carefully observed him. Then I realized that he was suffering from paralysis. He could not have control of hands and head. I very keenly observed him how much time it will, he will take to finish off this coffee. Really, really astonishingly, he took 25 minutes to finish the coffee. Are we really blessed what we have right now? Can you imagine how this person's life in day to, to do 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 day to day routine works. Fellow you know, those and guests, we have to count our blessings, and we have to contend with what we have. And about you, dear Modi, we count your blessings. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Suresh. That was a wonderful speech. Be happy with what you have. Be content. Look within, look around, and you'll realize that you are better off. With that, I have a small request since we are midway in our meeting. May I request everyone to please put on your camera or videos so we can possibly get a group photo together. And I will also know how many people are actually attending or have just left their names and gone away. Thank you, Madam First Master Rekha. What about the others? I'll probably give 10 seconds and then we would. Uh... Thank you, Toastmaster Master William. Okay. With that, now here, again, once again, there was a service and a satisfaction, if you noticed. I, I asked you for some of them did it, some of them were already on, and I was happy, the fact that I could get maximum number of faces and get a screenshot of that. So you can never, never, never escape service and satisfaction. I reiterate that. We'll move on to this in a little bit more detail to the next part of the service in a little while. Before that, can I request the 
Taiwan's report for the two project or prepared speeches, please. Yeah, thank you, Toastmaster of the Rigangada. So, uh, Toastmaster Dhananjay took six minutes, 22 seconds, and Toastmaster Suresh took seven minutes, 12 seconds. So, both are eligible for the voting. Wonderful. That's good to hear. And uh, Toastmaster Ravu, how do we go about, do we do a voting and uh, is it done online or? Toastmaster Ravu, you're on mute. Okay. Can I end the poll, Toastmaster Ravu? Are you doing it on your end? I've done it. Ah, okay, great. But I wasn't sure because I couldn't have that access on my side. Thank you very much. <laughs>
to move ahead. Or oh, do we take a break, uh, Toastmaster Raghu? Yeah, we can take five minutes break. Yes, and so we are giving a five minute break. In my time, it's uh, 7.45. So if that's fine, we shall reconnect at 7.50 India time. So you can accordingly set your watches to five minutes. Uh, Amit, you may raise red card once the five minutes is over. Uh, yeah, see you. For those of you who have been gracious enough to stay on, a break doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go totally silent. It's also okay. a good time when you're, when you're taking this break and if you're not taking that break, that we could get to know each other a little bit more better. So if anybody has any thoughts, service, customer service, social service, please voice yourself because you can never go wrong with service. Or if you have any other thoughts regarding Toastmasters, regarding the meeting for the day, it's your time also here now. Very nice and uh, refreshing topic, uh, Gangadhar, uh, this uh, service related. But I feel service is something which comes from within us. This reminds me of one of the famous movie of Rajnikant, where he he's been raised as a boy who does service for everyone. So the whole movie, uh, he will be portraying a servant for everyone, irrespective of the one who bought him up or to the persons who are staying in the village or to the person neighbors of the village also. He does everything. And end of the movie, we'll get to know that he's actually the son of the king of that particular village. So <laughs> his, his father wanted him to understand that when we are ready to serve everyone, we will be able to become good leaders and good king. So your uh, theory is reminding me of that movie. And uh, there I learned that whenever we see we are going, we are supposed to give some service that should not come out of force or anything. It should come out voluntarily as an act of uh, our consciousness. So very true. My kids don't ask me that, Amma, I'm hungry. Please give me the food which I like. I ensure that I am giving that best service for them. Okay. Similarly, for my parents or my family or to my office, I know that I am accountable and I am responsible. So for me, service means that. Thank you very much. Very wonderful. Love that. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? In fact, what you just said sent the thought across my mind that if you are an entrepreneur and you're running a business, the best way to know how good your company or organization is, put yourself in the place of your customer, disguise yourself like once upon a time the kings used to do and see how your subjects or your employees are performing, not to pull them up, but to help them get better. Excellent. The idea is not to pull up, pull up somebody, but 
if they are not doing certain things right, how can they get better for themselves and the organization? Absolutely. All right. It's 7.50 and we move on. Okay. We now move on to the next section of a Toastmasters meeting. And that is the table topics. Oops. Sorry, my headphone just fell down. Now, in Toastmasters, it is said, the person who puts his hand up is that guy who's got a very positive attitude and who loves to do things. And sometimes what happens is, some Toastmasters have to take more than one role. And I was surprised that we have a Toastmaster who has been a speaker and a table topic master. Um, so I think he deserves a repeat introduction of what I just said, just to reiterate, to know that what is he. So here goes, Toastmaster Suresh is a telecom engineer by profession and a real estate business owner. So if you want anything to do with real estate, probably he's the right person to contact. He may be able to help you. And his concept is that service is a lifeline to human beings. We can't survive alone in this world without other services. It's a very profound statement, I must say. With that, may I now request all of you to put your hands together, re-welcome a speaker in a different role from a speaker to a table topic master. Please welcome table topic master Suresh Kotipali. Thank you very much, Dhanagatya Mori. I'm back again as a role player at this table topic master. As it is an entrepreneur club, I have chosen all the topics on the basis of entrepreneurship. Can we, anyone have any volunteers, please? Prabhu, can you help me out to choose the persons? Toastmaster Giri, do you want to try? I think uh, Dhananjay has nominated. Yes. Okay. Okay, this is the topic for you. Entrepreneurship is like gambling. Entrepreneurship is like gambling. You will become super rich or you will become pauper. The topic is this. Entrepreneurship is like gambling. You will become super rich or you will become pauper. Over to you, Dhananjaya. Thank you, uh, Table Topic Master, for your wonder, wonderful topic. Yeah. Anything we see, it depends on our perspective. Suppose if you are thinking about the money perspective, some people think entrepreneurship is a gambling because they only see in, in terms of money they get from that business. But if you ask me, so I say entrepreneurship is nothing but adding value to the people. If you are able to give very good service to the your customers and if you have a very good product line of, or if you have a very great service concept, and if you can serve more people that is, and it can also satisfy your spirit there, you will get a very good money also. And money in entrepreneurship is just an outcome of what you do to the people, whether you may be delivering a very good products or maybe good, very good services. But when it, when it uh, seen in other perspective, only in the money perspective, they, some people may say that it's a gambling because there is also the chances that in entrepreneurship, you may fail. So if you ask me, I don't agree directly to this uh, concept that entrepreneurship is a gambling. So I am, uh, I say that entrepreneurship is different and uh, gambling is completely different. And uh, thank you for the table topic master. Thank you, thank you Dhanjan for uh, the awesome uh, clarification from you. And uh, you have rightly said that entrepreneurship is not a a gambling like thing. It's a doing social responsibility. The all the entrepreneurs in this world are serving one other, other way, like our Dangalar Ji said, they, they are extending different services to fulfill our needs. 
by which <coughs> they are earning money. It's a byproduct, as you said, it's a adding value to the people. That's byproduct is money. Thank you, thank you very much, Dhanjara. Can I have an explanation, please? Uh, I think I saw our guest, Farul, enthusiastically raising my hand. Correct me if I am wrong, guest Farul. You can't miss her, she's with her mask on. Yeah, uh, is it the same Probably because you are, no, that's perfect, perfect. I think you're outside somewhere in a vehicle. Yes. No worries. Um, is it okay with you? Uh, shall I speak on the same topic, if I'm audible? You want to speak on the same topic? That is allowed for me. I can give the... a different topic for you in the... In this topic, we will give one. Uh, this is an impromptu. We will give one topic for each person. You need to speak in uh, impromptuly uh, within two minutes of time. Okay. Oh, can, I, can I give you a topic for you? Yes. Okay, thank you. Parul. As it's an entrepreneur's club, and again, talking about women entrepreneurs. Yeah. Women entrepreneurs can take the responsibility and can enter the work and they can deliver the work, but they can't take the bold decisions in crisis. Will you agree or not? I'm repeating the topic again. Women entrepreneurs can take responsibility and they can work for it, but can't take bold decisions. Crisis. Do you agree with it? Being a woman, I might not agree to it. Uh, I mean, I have been raised by a strong mother and I am surrounded by strong women. So, um, however, however, when I, when I put myself in situations of conflict, I always look at the greater good of, of, the, of the team involved. And if there are tough decisions to be taken, if somebody's job has to be uh, curtailed or if um, if somebody has to be thrown out of the team, I mean, I do take a second thought and I do take a step back. So women by nature probably are uh, more um, uh, forgiving, more incorporating. So there might be a hint, but that doesn't mean that we can't take tough topics. We would like to give a uh, fair chance or a second chance to the fairer or a better side of the person for him to emerge as a better person. Um, but it's not that we cannot take, I totally disagree that we cannot take hard decisions in crisis. Uh, there have been several times where women have proven themselves um, uh, time and again. Um, uh, our, our prime minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, she's a well-known uh, leader and she has handled several crises. There have been several uh, uh, several post holders in the government also who, who've taken very, very tough decisions, including Mrs. Sushma Swaraj. So I feel I totally contradict. There is a softer side to women, but they are very well, very capable to handle crisis and take bold decisions. Thank you. Thank you, Parul, for your uh, bold uh, speech, uh, raised by your bold mother. And you have given enough examples how strong are women are. I posed a, a reverse question so that you can come back well and force uh, man fertility with force. That is why I just given a reverse question for you. You have done a wonderful job. Thank you, Parul. Uh, the next one, Dina. Shall I pose the question for Dina? Yeah, can you please uh, post it in the chat and she'll give the message in the chat, yeah.
Yeah, Diana. Thank you. Uh, to meet you, there's a lot of background noise from your side. Uh, this I don't know. Yeah. So, as you can go to the next next person. Next so, volunteer, please. I think I saw uh, Rekha and then Gajanan coming. So, let me pull up Rekha. Okay, Rekha. Okay. Entrepreneurs' life is like holding a bunch of thorns. Employee life is like a bed of roses. I'm repeating the topic again. Entrepreneurs' life is holding a bunch of thorns. Employee life is like a bed of roses. Your comments on this. Thank you very much. Let me reiterate the topic if my understanding is right. Uh, on entrepreneur's life is like holding a bunch of thorns and uh, uh, employee's life is holding a bunch of roses. I would definitely disagree to it because both have their plus and both have their minus. So I would first, as an entrepreneur, let me share my own experience. I would say like I have played both the role of an employee as well as the role of an entrepreneur, which is my current role. As an entrepreneur, like I would say, I'm accountable for everything. If I work, I get the results. If I don't work, I don't get the results. And every minute I work, there is a result. So it gives immense uh, uh, pleasure and uh, happiness and satisfaction. And again, there is a result for whatever efforts I put in. And again, as I said, it is not just uh, thorns, it is mix of thorns and flowers and how you see is what is in your hand. If you see the thorn is pricking and you are going to sense the pain, it is a pain. But if you see one is going to help you to shape you and then make a better person, make a better entrepreneur, that is how it is how you see. And for me, being into the uh, coaching uh, place, I, I feel more satisfaction than being an employee as well as like that as an entrepreneur as an employee i would say like whether i work or not i this eight hours nine hours i give an attendance i am how much of satisfaction i get that is a big question but as an entrepreneur i can choose what i want to do and what i don't want to do choice is in my hand but as an employee the choice is not in your hand and so it is like a puppet show where you are going to dance for somebody's tune. But as an entrepreneur, I would say you dance for your own tune. So I, I think, uh, yeah. So I love my, uh, my journey as an entrepreneur. I am growing as an entrepreneur, as a person. And it is a mix of roses and thorns. That is what is going to make a life beautiful. With this, I hand over back to you, Toastmaster Suresh. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, General Evangelist Rekha. You wonderfully, wonderfully explained that how the entrepreneurship and how the employee, uh, you have gone through the both, uh, the, the, both the situations and you clearly explained how the, the, if it hit the throne, how even if the pain, you will enjoy that pain. Really, it's an awesome explanation. And uh, and you are going in uh, your uh, training business as well. So kudos to you, kudos to you. And uh, next uh, uh, volunteer, please. We have Gajan and Desai. Yeah, Suresh, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay, Gajanan, are you okay? If you often see the entrepreneurs. Will uh, earn the money and at last we see one picture in our mind. They enjoy parties, then they spend in beaches and the extravagant in their life. What is your uh, opinion? Is it entrepreneur's real goal, enjoying at last? 
what's your opinion in that? Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Let me tell you that a reality of life that money is needed because money can solve a lot of problems. And if you are an entrepreneur, then the, uh, there is a always higher possibility that you will earn a lot of money and by which you can solve a lot of your problems. But what I feel that that is not the only way. I know some of the entrepreneurs, they enjoy the lavish life. They have, uh, they have good house, they have the car. But if you see their work schedule, they go, they literally go eight o'clock in the morning to their work. They work almost for 12 hours. They come on Sundays. This is not a joke. This is not at all a joke. You need a zeal. Okay. You need that determination, that uh, determination to work. And I feel that most of the entrepreneurs are holic, uh, workaholic. Work is something that drives them. Okay. You can pretend to be workaholic, but that will sustain only for one hour or one year. If you are really determined, then uh, for 30, 40 years, you cannot uh, carry forward this attitude. So I, what I feel that though enter, uh, entrepreneurs enjoys the legacy, what they have created, but work is something drives them. Over to you, Toastmaster Suresh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that, uh, that's a very expressive and you express that if you the, the entrepreneurs will work for the society and they work all the day for the society and at last the people are there we will see the kind of people in our day-to-day -day life but the most of the entrepreneurs are the most are charitable and they spend so much of money and very useful things thank you Gazana. the next one is i think our president kalpana madam are you just now you spoke about your uh, son feeding a food and you were uh, fulfill our responsibilities. Now, recently one entrepreneur in India sent his son without giving a single penny to the market and survive for two years, then come back and take care of my business. Kalpana, did you do it? What you? Thank you, Toastmaster Suresh, for that uh, wonderful, challenging tech, uh, topic. I always believe that making money is not something which, which I mean, you know, everybody can do it. All they, they don't need money to make money. They need ideas to make money. Let me tell you my personal life example. I was in class eight when my tuition teacher asked me if I can volunteer for one hour to teach dance so that she can have an innovative idea in her school that there are arts teacher available in there. And, and when I was in class eight, I was very small. I was like any other girl. And all I need to do was to present myself as a teacher there. So I... I really liked the idea when she said, you know, monthly I'll get 300 rupees because my tuition fees itself was 50 rupees. And I was really surprised that, you know, I can make money and I don't have to pay fees for my tuition as well. That moment, all I did was I tried to understand how I can present myself to be a teacher. So I immediately changed my attire from dress to a sari and went over and I gave my class and I also taught the st students who were ninth and 10th grade students and they all performed on August 15th one of the event for which I was actually employed for 
and it was surprisingly a very grand show and i really enjoyed that and since then i understood that for making money we don't need money all we need is the way we have to present so that we can earn yes i can do something wherein someone cannot do it and can make money out of it all service this legacy is been carried out with my family as well as a summer uh, camp i gave for a small kit of uh, quilling art for my elder son and he did wonderful earrings out of that quilling art and made 4000 rupees by selling those earrings in one of the events at his school so i think for making money we don't need money at all all we need is an innovative idea and a dedicated person to do it thank you table over to your table topic master thank you kalpana uh, money is not uh, everything money not uh, money is not needed to make money it's a wonderful uh, explanation and uh, next volunteer taimur uh, do you have a time to have further questions i think you can wrap it up it's a time you can move to the next section Okay, shall I finish? Yeah, sure. Thank you, one and all, for participating in my entrepreneurship uh, table topics. And uh, more to you, PMOD, Canada, Krishna. Thank you very much, uh, table topic master Suresh. And uh, may I now request the timers report. names and the time was timing of each of the speakers please uh, yeah thank you uh, tmod so uh, following is my table uh, topic uh, speeches report for timer so uh, toast master dhananjay took 1 minute 20 second uh, guest parul took 1 minute and 35 second uh, toast master rekha took 2 minute 11 seconds Uh, toastmaster suresh took 1 minute 50 second and uh, toastmaster kalpana took 2 minute 22 second so all are in, all are within uh, time toastmaster ragu yeah we have got the uh, uh, voting screen so if you can <coughs> cast your votes it will be great Can you move on, uh, Trust Master Rago? Yes. Great, wonderful. Continuing with uh, the theme of the day, <clears throat> and this is something that's very close to my heart, and something that uh, our presiding officer Kalpana just spoke a few minutes ago. now what having going from service customer service to the time in life you have to decide when where social service is equally important when i started writing for the newspapers overseas on customer service i moved from strength to strength i wrote on the newspapers from there i went to do a lot of reading research came with my own theory of service excellence published a book at that point i thought it would be very unfair if i cannot try and see if i can do some social work in the area of my was my strength which is customer service and that is when was born my psr program and how did my psr come about if corporates can have a corporate social responsibility why can i not have my personal social responsibility it was very selfish for me because it is more about give time and get happiness so i decided to give at least 2 to 3 hours in a week 
two to three hours, I repeat in a week. And try and teach customer service or the various aspects of customer service to those people who cannot afford the cost of training programs, or maybe their companies just don't bother to send the employees for trainings. So I had seven modules on a particular program in customer service touching the key areas. And that was conducted over seven weekends. In the Middle East, it was a Friday was a weekend, or if it's India, it's a Sunday that's a weekend. So you always feel as we move ahead in life, in society, we gain a lot of experience, we grow. The question is, do we keep it to ourselves? How are we contributing to the community? How are we contributing to, to, the, to the people around you? How are you making a better place? I feel you need to leave this place a little better than the, how it was when you came into this world. The world is throwing enough challenges and making a mess of it. But you and I are not non-entities. We are entities who can do something and make a small difference. And every small difference is going to be collectively going to make a change. So you might be uh, a finance person, uh, somebody is into projects, somebody is into HR, somebody is into something else. If you think you can, devote two to three hours, and this is where I have a strength, and just open the doors and say, hey, I'm teaching this, this is the kind of thing I do, this is the kind of hours I can contribute. Today, the world is a very small place, you can do it online. The time I did it, that was more than six years ago, and I started this pilot project, it was face-to-face. -face. So it was in uh, Dubai, I did it. But today, I feel you can go and meet anybody in the world and teach what you want. It could be one person, and slowly it takes two, three, four, five, six, and then you have, you'll find that there are people who would like to learn from you. So I would suggest give back to society what you have got from it all these years or where you've gained something. It's a lovely, another good way to explore your passion. Let's say you want to teach some, uh, something else than what your professional life is. Learn, explore that and try and see if you can share that knowledge. And as you keep doing it, you get better and you get more confidence to move your passion forward. So I felt social service is equally important and it is each of us who has to take a responsibility to do it. It's not you do it and you know, I sit and watch or I clap for you. No, it's each of us who have to go pat each other on the back and see what we can do to make your community a little better. And I request if there's any way I can teach customer service to people who can't afford or who are not sent for service, I'll be more than happy to do that. With that, I'll stop sharing the screen and go back to the agenda. We move to the third section of a normal Toastmaster meeting, and that is the evaluations. And to help me conduct the evaluations, and the latter half of this meeting is the general evaluator who I have already introduced when she came in to introduce her tag team. But I would love to reintroduce her as a Toastmaster from Chennai with seven years in Toastmastering. She runs a startup called Kalpataru Consulting, and she's into project management, PMP, and agile certification coaching. Please put your hands together and welcome Madam Toastmaster Rekha Subramaniam. Thank you very much, DTM Gangadhar Krishna. So now I'm back again as the general evaluator of today's meeting. So as I come, promised, I'm coming back with my another set of team. First, I would invite the first evaluator, Toastmaster Gajanan Desai, to share the evaluation of the first speaker. Before I call upon him, let me share uh, a, an introduction about him. He is from International Center Goa Toastmasters Club. And in relation with the theme, uh, his thoughts are, Unconditional service 
to the best capacity for the upliftment of people. So with this thought, I invite Toastmaster Gajanan Desai to share your feedback or inputs on the first speaker. Welcome Toastmaster Gajanan. You are on mute, Toastmaster Gajadan. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, dear guests, General Evaluator Toastmaster Rekha, and my speaker, Toastmaster Dhananjaya. Toastmaster Dhananjaya, your speech objectives remind me of a very famous Hindi proverb that what is better, akal badiya bhas, which means intelligence is better or ox is better. And I and all of the Toastmasters over here and guests over here would consider that intelligence is higher than the force. You gave a speech on to storytelling. For that, you use a very wise theme, a theme story about Tenali Raman, which is known to everybody in India and how he got about, how he caught the robbers who came to steal, uh, steal uh, some valuables from his home. Then you drew a parallel, how this uh, wisdom you use personally at your, work, uh, uh, at your work to get your work done from your subordinate. Now, uh, what are the good points? Good points, I would say that you chose a very simple story. I think this story had a lot of wisdom. There was connection. We could all relate to that. Uh, uh, there was a perfect opening. You started with a quote the, on the importance of storytelling. Then there were two stories and you ended, uh, ended up your speech with a wisdom. And uh, second, uh, this thing was message. In every speech, message is very important. You gave a message uh, which was aligned completely with the, the uh, with the speech title that uh, your speech title that uh, intelligence is better than uh, this thing. Then you spoke, uh, you stood and spoke, and you use your body, uh, use you use your uh, hand gesture to exaggerate exaggerate your point. So that shows a lot of seriousness amongst. Uh, uh, um, about your project. Now coming to the recommendation. Okay, first recommendation, I would say that you gave a title that intelligence is uh, in place of force. Now what you are doing is that you are directly exposing, directly uh, uh, this thing, what you call it, giving the plot to the audience. You should keep some secrecy and after one or two minutes, you should open the plot. That gives you added advantage. Okay, and it uh, helps to connect with the audience also. Then I would say that second recommendation, I would say that you could uh, paint it little bit more. Okay, by giving detailing, detailing about the this thing, personality of Terari Raman, exaggerating the situation that would give you a benefit that you could use uh, this thing, what you call it, uh, um, voice modulation more important. My, uh, so overall, your speech was good. It had a uh, lot of wisdom. And I would say all the best for your future speeches. Over to you, Toastmaster Rekha. Thank you, Toastmaster Gajanan. And now let me invite uh, Toastmaster William to present his uh, evaluation. So before even I invite uh, Toastmaster William, he is a member of Early Birds Toastmaster from Kenya. Welcome Toastmaster William and here is the virtual podium to share your feedback for the next speaker. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. Uh, Suresh, that was an awesome speech uh, titled Count Your Blessings. Uh, I believe you were able to, to excel in, in through, 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 in two ways. I want to start your speech with the question. There was a point you asked the audience a question. It was good, commendable audience engagement. There were points in your speech which you used some gestures, like when uh, one of the people was granted 
a big mansion. You were able to say a big mansion. Aside from that, the purpose of the story came out clearly. It complemented the title that you stipulated for your speech. You're able to use dialogue in your speech. You're able to see the various people in your story, like Samuel and Timothy. As well, you could improve on the opportunities for in your speech to vary your tone a bit. You could have said, we are, we are not happy. Maybe it's lower to show that the, 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 the person speaking was in low emotions. There was also, uh, uh, your, your gestures were a bit limiting. You had the tendency of coming back to this scratch position each time as you, you are speaking. Aside from that, uh, you could also, uh, the tonal variation and the pacing, the opportunities to use tonal variation and pacing to, to clear, to show various types of emotions, to show excitement, to show In summary, I would say there was commendable use of dialogue, there was audience engagement, and there was also a bit of use of gestures. I will challenge you to be a bit more intentional your tone and tests to create emotions clear. I enjoyed your speech. I'm looking forward to listening to more of your speeches. Thank you, Suresh. Thank you, Toastmaster William. I believe like uh, Toastmaster Gajanan and Toastmaster Williams evaluation would definitely help the speakers to improve their speech. So now uh, let me ask Toastmaster Amit, uh, the timer, whether uh, both the evaluators were qualified for voting? Uh, thank you, general evaluator. So uh, Toastmaster Gajanan took three minutes, 18 seconds. Uh, whereas Toastmaster William took two minutes, 35 seconds. And we provide like three, three minutes for the evaluator. So both are eligible for voting. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Amit. So the screen, uh, the poll is, be, is reflecting on your screen. You can vote for the best evaluator. Right. So uh, now, uh, now it's time for uh, me to present my uh, first team to present the tag report. So let me call upon uh, Toastmaster Amit, the timer, to present your timer report. Uh, yeah. So all the speeches and evaluation were will uh, were well within the allotted time. So. Uh, we should really embrace this moment like where uh, no none of the speaker or evaluators like uh, go beyond their allotted time uh, yeah so over to you back to you general evaluator thank you very much toastmaster amit and now it's time for me to call toastmaster mohammed junaid to share uh, the report as a our counter yeah it was glad to be a part of the speech. Everyone spoke really nicely. I would like to share my screen. Uh, can the host uh, enable the participant screen? Yes, you can do it now. Use the screen. We did our like very less errors. Oh, my screen is finished. So we share. You're sharing your screen? Yeah, yeah, I'm sharing the screen. Can you see it? We can see only the white screen. There's I think a gray. it's coming up. It's your screen is paused. Maybe can you unshare and share again? Oh, sure. 
will do it again. Possible to see? Can you make the font a little bigger? Yeah, sure. Is that okay now? Not visible. No, the screen keeps on, no, it keeps glitching. Or maybe you can start uh, sharing your report uh, vocally and then maybe let's see whether we are able to see the screen. Should it be possible? Try. Maybe once more you can unshare. Ah, yeah, I think it's fine now. Yeah, your screen is visible. You can just enlarge the screen and then start sharing your report. No, the, the it's okay. You can it. just uh, share your uh, your report vocally. No, I'm unable to see the Excel file itself since the screen is getting shared. Like there's some glitch. I'm unable. Can to you see unshare and then look at your screen and then uh, maybe it's tell fine. us orally? Yeah. Okay. Is it fine now? Let me do it. No, you can just tell tell it out. If there is a challenge in sharing your screen. Yeah, DTM Gangadhar has uh, one word. And then like the TM Gagan has uh, overused one word. William has overused uh, two times A uh, and M. Um, and then TM Suresh Kotpali has overused words like also so. And then TM per TM break has your overused one word like like. And then TM table topic uh, for table topics TM Gagan has overused words like uh, has given pauses. Um, that's it. Over to you, gender yeah. evaluator. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Muhammad Junai. Uh, now it's time for a report from our grammarian, Toastmaster Hajar. Would you like to share your report? Thank you, dear general evaluator. So uh, based on my English uh, level, all participants uh, were having a great English level and the great knowledge of grammar. And I didn't notice like uh, big mistakes, but I, I just noticed the uh, the um, um, misuse of the preposition uh, for some participants uh, uh, have have just used it before an an um, an, an infinitive verb uh, uh, like saying for for do and we should say to do I think it's due to 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 lack of concentration or, or speaking fast. And I like some expressions said by participants, uh, uh, like every minute, bef every minute this work gives its, its, uh, its results and money doesn't make money, innovative uh, thoughts just make money. Over to you, General Ivanwit. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hajar. Now, uh, uh, can we go for the polling, uh, DTM Raghu, for the tag players, or shall I share my report and then would you like to go for the? We, um, uh, we don't do polling okay. for role players. Okay, fine. Yeah. So then it's time for me to submit my report. Let me share what went well in the meeting or what I like the most. And then I would share how we can improve the quality of our meeting. So first and foremost, I congratulate everyone uh, to be on time and to start the meeting on time. We not only started the meeting on time, but every section of the meeting went as per the agenda. So kudos on that. 
and then even after the break immediately we started there was no delay so i really appreciate that and uh, other things which i loved is toastmaster of the day toastmaster gangadhar like he was he did his homework where i know like we spoke today known like he shared the introduction of every role players whom i need to introduce so I, it made my life easier i appreciate him and uh, Yes, uh, I would like to appreciate DTM uh, Raghu, where he was able to check. He he took the initiative to check whether the speaker was able to see the timer and the transition of these uh, timer cards. That was great. Then. Uh, yeah, the TT master, the topics were very great. Like uh, it was in line with the uh, with the club being the club being for entrepreneurs and the transition between the speakers was appreciated. He was able to connect to the speaker's speech and then move to the other topic. And the topics were very simple and it connected with the speakers where speakers found it easy to speak. And I really appreciate the Zoom master. I believe Zoom master is DTM Raghu, where you aptly highlighted the role players. And I really appreciate the, the attempt like where you tried to, you, uh, you shared or you, you focus the evaluators and the speaker where when the evaluator is able to give his evaluation, he can literally speak the look. Uh, look at the or look at the uh, speaker and give his evaluation than searching where the speaker is. I really appreciate that. Now it's time for me to be more critical to share what can be improved. So one, yes, TMOD did share uh, the structure of the meeting, but for the benefit of the guest, I think today not many guests, but generally it would be better to explain what is a prepared speech, what is table topics and what is evaluation for a newcomer to understand the structure of the speech. And another one is, Though we were in line with the agenda with respect to the time, I felt the transitions were much longer between the sections. And in case if we can reduce the transition, I think we can bring in one more speaker. Having said this, I think today being a festival season, I know the, the people who the person who organized the speaker, the speakers and the role players would have had a struggle. And maybe because of that, we had only two speakers today. But if that is not so uh, i would really appreciate to reduce the transition between the sessions and sections and bring in more speakers giving more opportunity and evaluators did a great job but one more thing i would really appreciate the evaluators to do a homework little bit when it is storytelling i believe both of the evaluation objective speech objective or storytelling what are the nuances of storytelling right and that if you can bring in into the evaluation whether the speaker were able to follow those nuances of storytelling it would have been more helpful than being a little generic and uh, yes, uh, the uh, our counter had a challenge in sharing the screen. I would have appreciated if a test has been done uh, before we started the meeting. And uh, instead of addressing TM or just the name, I would really appreciate to address everyone as Toastmaster. And, and then uh, the grammarian, uh, when it is always like when you say something was not good, uh, the usage was not good, you followed that rule of not mentioning the name. At the same time, when there were some good practices, good language usage, then it would be great if you can mention the speaker's name. So this is all from my side. I love today's meeting and back to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you very much, Madam Toastmaster Rekha. Now to quickly do a wrap up, we do have time, but I will, I will be generous enough to give the time to the presiding officer and to close the meeting. But as it is rightly said, whether you're doing service, customer service or social service, you're gonna have challenges, but until you put your step forward and see what you can do or not, you will never know whether you're in the right direction or not. We had a very beautiful analogy in one of the table topics between the rose and the thorn. Now, each and every human is going to face a thorn as he's approaching a rose. It's nothing new. And if you don't approach a thorn, how would you reach the rose? It's times like 
the phone tells you beware i might look very beautiful but you need to take care of me you just can't take me for granted so the thorn is giving you some kind of a warning before you go and mess around with that uh, plant or a rose similarly is service when it's something that should come from your heart not from your head because when it comes from your head it's very transparent and we know very well this person is doing with what's in it for me attitude that's fine with customer service maybe if you're an entrepreneur or you're an employee that's okay but we're talking of service we're talking social service try and see if you can relate this with your heart than with your head you will be able to embrace and be over the moon when people approach you and you'll be able to help them you'll feel good about yourself that's why i said give time get happiness so think about that and keep service in mind no sooner we close this meeting you will find interactions at home with family where you would realize it's how that you always giving service to somebody or the other with that thought i hand over the the monitor back to the presiding officer and wish each and every you one of you a great day ahead and a super time be careful stay safe stay healthy back to you presiding officer madam dose pastor kalpana thank you dtm gangadhar for that wonderful session on service your your theme made me recollect the fact that we have to grow out of our comfort zone to become more better and definitely your service session will help us all to do that with this i would like to call zoom master to please kindly let us know the results of the poll we had today yes thank you madam presiding officer so everybody is a winner yeah somebody has to become popular among the people especially the audience that we have so it is lean we are going to lean agile so that is the reason why audience ensured that we are lean today with that let us announce first best speaker best speaker goes to toshmasha dhananjay congratulations dhananjay congratulations dhananjay next best table topic speaker goes a tie between two women toshmasha kalpana and toshmasha rekha great job both of you i really love the way that rekha has bought uh, the topic saying the thorns and roots both are necessary the way that kalpana told that how we can um, we don't need money to make money it can be intelligence as well great job both of you then comes to best evaluator oh toast master gajanan great job congratulations on there then coming to uh, say all the role players are winner so i'm just announcing everybody as a winner toast master hajar toast master junai then toast master amit as the three auxer role players then coming to role players start with the getting gangadhar great job as a toast master of the day thank you for accepting my request even though it was 3 to 4 weeks in advance and helping us to do this meeting today then our toast master rekha asrid night i approached her when one of the uh, uh, general evaluator has dropped and she took it up on the spot always thank you toast master rekha you just pick up the roles a uh, last minute as well thank you then comes suresh kodipalli great job as a table topic master of the day so you had a uh, what do you say the weight on your shoulders to do the speaker but then you took up table topic master as well as well great job there i will send the certificate electronically through whatsapp media thank you madam presiding officer over to you thank you so much dtm raghu now it's time to take feedback may i request our guest to please share your feedback i'll start with toastmaster rekha thank you very much toastmaster kalpana as usual i i love being in this meeting my only challenge is i'll have sessions in the weekends in the evening so i was missing the meeting so fortunately or unfortunately today i have i don't have my training so and uh, um, my fortunate the general evaluator withdrew and i joined so thank you for the invite dtm ragu ragu and the energy is always up in this meeting thank you again i loved it thank you so much uh, toastmaster rekha uh, may i now request uh, guest parul to please let us know how how she finds today's meeting as parul
Okay. Hi, Diana, you want to say something? Yes, please. You can type in. She wants, she wants to uh, attempt a table topic. So Kalpana, you or Suresh can give one to her because we have 15 minutes in time. Okay. One of you can give her a topic. Sure, Suresh, can you? Suresh, you may give one topic to Diana. Yes, yes. yes uh, Suresh will give you the topic. You can type in Diana. We'll be happy to post you for table topic. You read out uh, Suresh and then type in there. Yes, Tiana noted your email ID. I'll get back to you with the participation certificate. Thank you. You're welcome. Suresh, have you posted the topic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I posted the topic. Diana, your topic is who is your best friend and why? You can type in for this topic. So, Otia Stout is my friend who is joining today. What you do you want to give feedback Porsche. on a meeting? Portia, I'm sorry. Yeah, Portia. Portia. Good morning. As Dithyam Ragu says, I'm Portia Stout from the Tortola Toastmasters Club in the British Virgin Islands. It's Sunday here and it's 11.18, so most persons are at church today. And I signed on late, but I'm happy to be here. And uh, I hope I could come and join again. Thank uh -huh. you, Toastmaster Raju. Thank you, Pusha. I was other day mentioning on Facebook that when I when I approached you anonymously on WhatsApp asking for meeting details, you you were not sure whether I was a scammer. Right. I won't forget that. <laughs> Thank you Hi. for joining. Thank you so much, Pusha, for sharing your thoughts. Uh, Toastmaster William, would you like to? Share your uh, feedback. Oh, it's uh, getting back here in Kenya when it was just uh, and it's on later. On. Uh, I enjoyed the meeting. I really enjoyed the meeting. There were great remarks from the general evaluator, great speeches from each one of the speakers. The role takers were a bit para in everything that they were doing. The TMOD was exceptionally para with the presentations, even had slides for everything. It was a great meeting. I'd like to also invite you to join us at Alibad's Toastmasters in Nairobi. I'll share the link on the chat. Otherwise, I'd like to wish you a good week ahead. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yes, we have noted down your uh, link that you have shared. We will try to be in there uh, sometime and share uh, knowledge. May I now request uh, guest Sharon to please share your feedback? Sharona. Sharona. Good evening, Toastmasters. Hey, hi. I hi. am from the Tortola Toastmasters Club along with Portia Stout. We're all the way in the Caribbean. So it is 11.20 here. I am sorry that I tuned in late. 
because I'm still getting used to the time zones. But it was an awesome meeting and I do hope that I can be here again. Thank you so much, Sharona. Yeah, do you want to add something? It's a pleasure, Sharona, having you back here, meeting you both again, Portia and Sharon, both of you here. I think that's the beauty of the networking where you, and especially online meetings that you can join anytime, anywhere. Wonderful. No, uh, thank you, Sharona. Uh, may I request DTM Gangadhar to please share his feedback uh, on today's meeting? As a Toastmaster, I enjoyed presenting the meeting today. In fact, I don't know most of you. I met Raghu just about a week ago or 10 days ago, four weeks back, I don't know when it was. <clears throat> and I think the COVID has come as an advantage if you see it in the right perspective, because it's made the world a more smaller place where one can connect each one to the other. Imagine if you're getting people from the Caribbean islands and you know all over the place, will it be possible, will it be ever possible to meet in this manner? I mean, I can't go to a Chennai Toastmasters or I can't go to a Bombay Toastmasters meeting, forget uh, Kenya and their places. So it will be like mission impossible, which is made impossible. Look at the positive of everything. COVID has problems, no doubt, but it also got its advantages. Getting to the meeting, I thought it was very well done. And uh, fortunately, we could manage on time. I had an observation for the table topic master, not only for the table topic master in particular today, but for table topics itself and how you conduct table topics. When you give a table topics, you, you ideally call out the name of the person, give the speech topic, repeat the speech topic, and call out the name. If you do it in the right format, then what happens is it becomes a habit and you do the right things. Having said that, as far as possible, we should make the table topics short and sweet. If it's too long, the as it is, he's flustered because he's been pulled up to talk about a subject. He doesn't know what's going to come across his way. But make it short and sweet so that he he or she can understand and speak on the subject. And another thing what I noticed was that when the table topic master is speaking for two odd minutes and you're following through with about 45 seconds, it beats the purpose of table topics. I thought you, you put the subject, the person speaks, thank you very much, move to the next. You don't have to add on to what the person has said is my personal thoughts on that. And I mean, that's how I've seen it on various uh, other uh, things. I'm sorry, DTM, he was attempting his project active listening, for which he, <laughs> he has to do that, yeah. In he which, has case, to speak he, he in has which to... case, I take my words back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, other than that, I was very happy to see the role players, that the first part of commitment and, you know, you can have a meeting. I had a meeting once with seven people and all seven people who took up the roles attended the meeting. So this is commitment. And I was very happy that the people who put their hands up for the roles were seen on the screen. No last minute glitches. So we're talking back to service and satisfaction, but enough of that for the day. And I handed over back to the presiding officer. Thank you, DTM Gangadhar. Uh, may I now request uh, Toastmaster Gajanan to please share your feedback. I could see there was a small young lady, uh, maybe probably future yeah, Toastmaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I am Gajanan Desai from ICG Toastmasters Club from Goa. Okay. Raghu was part of one of the club, Anaphon Club, last year. And I saw an open nomination from him and got this opportunity. Uh, I uh, uh, Talking about the club, I belong to a club called ICG Toastmasters Club, which is where speeches are more social. So 
Uh, this is uh, this is our club. Uh, now I attend this this two days meeting. The speeches are slightly different than our this thing, and a lot of uh, uh, international guests are there, and a lot of members from other Toastmasters club. So what to know a lot a uh, lot about Toastmaster, uh, uh, how to add different dimension. I and I like the comment from the general evaluator Toastmaster. Over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Gajanan, for your feedback. Um, may I now request uh, guest Parul if she's available to give us some feedback? I was just checking for you. Yes, Diana, I noted your email ID. I will give you your feedback and your uh, participation certificate. Thank you for that. I believe she is not available. Yeah, I think Parul is not available. 